This is First Alert Weather. Well, temperatures right now across northeast Kansas still very cool for uh, what we are. Well, what we've been used to over the last several weeks here with many heat waves and uh, many hot stretches for a pretty warm summer overall, but now we are uh, still within that summer season, but we're getting a taste of fall so far this uh, very early morning. Lower 50s across the region, 46 in Hiawatha, the first time we've seen those 40s values since probably at least May, and uh, 50 in Marysville, a little bit warmer as you look towards the south, but all of us not getting above 60 degrees. Uh, visibility at the moment is pretty low here in the area. You can see those grayer colors uh, indicating that lack of visibility here down below 10 miles, which is usually that uh, area that we see here uh, or at least try and hope for for uh, to get that most clear coverage as possible. But uh, if you're heading out the door this morning, you might have a little bit of some uh, issues there with that haze still being kind of mixing in with that early morning sun. It's not totally clear, so just be advised of that if you uh, do have an early morning commute to make. And uh, again, that might make uh, driving a little bit more difficult than it usually would be. Overall, things aren't expected to be too bad, though. Uh, again, it's very similar to yesterday, if not better with that air quality. And uh, we still haven't had any advisories or issues uh, uh, promoted or released by the National Weather Service or other government agencies about this. So again, it is safe to go outside. I don't want to scare anyone uh, with this uh, haze or wildfire smoke. It's just going to again, maybe provide a little bit of nuisance or again, if you're in a locally susceptible area where air gets trapped, you might feel the effects a little bit more. Now the lack of wind is what's sort of keeping this haze here in our area. It was fairly strong yesterday out of the north. That's what brought it here in the first place, but now it has died down. And uh, if we do get any wind later today, it's going to shift more out of the east. That'll sort of help push this out of the area, but more than likely uh, a lot of this haze is just going to start to kind of collapse in on itself and uh, without that support from the wind and kind of just hanging around. So overall, here's that uh, wind cast here over the next few days. Again, shifting east is going to be the predominant uh, direction of that wind. And that's going to help keep us fairly warm over the next several days, not really changing the temperatures too much until we get further into this weekend. And then uh, rain chances as well are going to be low over the next several days until this weekend. That'll help cool us down a bit to maybe even as low as the 70s at the start of next week. But for now, things are dry. We have a slight chance of rain later this evening, but if we see anything, it's going to be very isolated. Most of us, 90, 95% of us probably won't see anything, but we could have just a little bit of rain later this evening and into Friday morning. Again, though, big chances of rain, not until the end of the week and the start of the week. That's when that confidence really starts to increase quite a bit. For today, though, in the present, 89 degrees is going to be that high temperature. Easterly winds at 5 to 10 miles per hour, a lingering haze still going to be visible for most of us here, but not quite as strong as yesterday. 61 degrees for tonight. Easterly winds dying down a bit and a slight chance of rain, as I mentioned. Overall, most of us should be dry, though, so that's not really going to be a concern. Uh, if we want to be concerned about rain, at least in terms of the quantity, we'll look towards the end of this weekend and the start of next week. We may have a bit of a deluge ahead, but uh, overall, the immediate uh, next four days showing those sunny and warm conditions and then much cooler to start off next week.